in this episode. 1. Features of Cabinet Committees 2. List of Cabinet Committees 3. Functions of Cabinet Committees 4. Groups of Ministers 5. Notes and References Welcome to Audiobook Gallery. Audiobook Gallery presents Indian Polity 6 Revision Edition by M. Lakshmikant Sir. So let's start. Chapter 21 Cabinet Committees The following are the features of Cabinet Committees. 1. They are extra-constitutional in emergence. In other words, they are not mentioned in the Constitution. However, the rules of business provide for their establishment. 2. They are of two types, standing and ad hoc. The former are of a permanent nature while the latter are of a temporary nature. The ad hoc committees are constituted from time to time to deal with special problems. They are disbanded after their task is completed. 13. They are set up by the Prime Minister according to the exigencies of the time and requirements of the situation. Hence, their number, nomenclature, and composition varies from time to time. 4. Their membership varies from 3 to 8. They usually include only cabinet ministers. However, the non-cabinet ministers are not debarred from their membership. 5. They not only include the ministers in charge of subjects covered by them but also include other senior ministers. 6. They are mostly headed by the Prime Minister. Sometimes, other cabinet ministers, particularly the Home Minister or the Finance Minister, also acts as their chairman. But, in case the Prime Minister is a member of a committee, he invariably presides over it. 7. They not only sort out issues and formulate proposals for the consideration of the cabinet, but also take decisions. However, the cabinet can review their decisions. 8. They are an organizational device to reduce the enormous workload of the cabinet. They also facilitate in-depth examination of policy issues and effective coordination. They are based on the principles of division of labor and effective. Delegation List of Cabinet Committees In 1994, there were the following 13 Cabinet Committees 1. Cabinet Committee on Political Affairs 2. Cabinet Committee on Natural Calamities 3. Cabinet Committee on Parliamentary Affairs 4. Appointments Committee of the Cabinet 5. Cabinet Committee on Accommodation 6. Cabinet Committee on Foreign Investment 7. Cabinet Committee on Drug Abuse Control 8. Cabinet Committee on Prices 9. Cabinet Committee on Minority Welfare 10. Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs 11. Cabinet Committee on Trade and Investment 12. Cabinet Committee on Expenditure 13. Cabinet Committee on Infrastructure In 2013, the following 10 Cabinet Committees were in existence. 1. Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs 2. Cabinet Committee on Prices 3. Cabinet Committee on Political Affairs 4. Appointments Committee of the Cabinet 5. Cabinet Committee on Security 6. Cabinet Committee on World Trade Organization WTO, Matter 7. Cabinet Committee on Investment 8. Cabinet Committee on Unique Identification Authority of India, UIDI, Related Issues 9 Cabinet Committee on Parliamentary Affairs 10 Cabinet Committee on Accommodation at Present, 2019 The following 8 Cabinet Committees are functional 1. Cabinet Committee on Political Affairs 2 Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs 3 Appointments Committee of the Cabinet 4 Cabinet Committee on Security 5 Cabinet Committee on Parliamentary Affairs 6 Cabinet Committee on Accommodation 7. Cabinet Committee on Investment and Growth 8. Cabinet Committee on Employment and Skill Development 
functions of cabinet committees. The following four are the more important cabinet committees. 1. The Political Affairs Committee deals with all policy matters pertaining to domestic and foreign affairs. 2. The Economic Affairs Committee directs and coordinates the governmental activities in the economic sphere. 3. Appointments Committee decides all higher level appointments in the Central Secretariat, Public Enterprises, Banks and Financial Institutions. 4. Parliamentary Affairs Committee looks after the progress of government business in the Parliament. The first three committees are chaired by the Prime Minister and the last one by the Home Minister. Of all the Cabinet Committees, the most powerful is the Political Affairs Committee, often described as a super cabinet. Groups of Ministers In addition to Cabinet Committees, several groups of Ministers GOMS, are constituted to look into different issue subjects. Some of these GOMS are empowered to take decisions on behalf of the Cabinet whereas the others make recommendations to the Cabinet. To the institution of GOMS has become a viable and effective instrument of coordination among the ministries. These are ad hoc bodies formed to give recommendations to the Cabinet on certain emergent issues and critical problem areas. Ministers heading the concerned ministries are inducted into the relevant GOMS and when the advice is crystallized they are disbanded. Three, the Second Administrative Reforms Commission, 2005 to 2009, made the following observations and recommendations with respect to the working of the GOMS for. 1. The Commission observed that the constitution of a large number of GOMS has resulted in many GOMS not being able to meet regularly to complete their work thus leading to significant delays on many major issues. 2. The Commission felt that more selective use of the institution of GOMS would perhaps lead to more effective coordination particularly if they are empowered to arrive at a decision on behalf of the Cabinet with time limits that are prescribed for completing the work interested to them. 3. The Commission recommended that there is need to ensure that the existing coordination mechanism of GOMS function effectively and helps in early resolution of issues. Selective but effective use of GOMS with clear mandate and prescribed time limits would be helpful. Notes and References 1. For example, the Emergency Committee was set up in 1962 after the Chinese invasion. 2. Second Administrative Reforms Commission, Government of India, Report on Organizational Structure of Government of India, 2009, P.136. This commission was headed by Virapa Moili, a senior Congress leader and former Karnataka chief minister. 3. Ramesh K. Arora and Rajni Goyal, Indian Public Administration, New Age International Publishers, 3rd edition, 2013, pp. 238-239. 4. Second Administrative Reforms Commission, Government of India. Report on Organizational Structure of Government of India, 2009, pp. 136 to 137 and 140. If you like this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Sukriya. So,